woke up this morning next to a farm and it sounded like gunshots were going off and I freaked the fuck out because I was dreaming about something that had gunshots and they kind of got incorporated into the dream. Packed my shit and got the fuck out and as I was packing up someone drove past and saw me. I managed to get out pretty quickly although it's left me pretty feeling pretty worn down so I got I got up, I woke up at about 6, got out of there about 6.30. I've gone to this town uh, and I've just kind of been sitting around and I didn't realize how much time was passing and it's just gone past 10 o'clock. But with reason, there was apparently free Wi-Fi, free water, a toilet to use as well. And I've got here and the Wi-Fi is only good for Google and messaging and nothing else. The water is there, I can see it, but it's turned off. But you push the button, nothing comes out. And the toilets are closed. But I think today is the day that I enter the land of the Swiss. If Eurovelo 15. I think I'm gonna be following Eurovelo 15. I'm pretty sure it gets close. I don't know if it entirely ends it, but I might just have to pop over the border just to say that I've done it. I'm finding more and more that I have to contend with these guys for the paths. I think they've got restrictors on them so they turn around at certain points, but I keep on finding black roots that are covered in water and I've got to go through at a very specific time to be able to get past this. Strasbourg! And Alsace is kind of set into a uh, like a big flat, kind of a, almost a plat, not not a plateau. It's like a it's like a valley. And that's the over there is the mountains with the Rue de Vent, which is a, like a vineyard root thing. And then over that side are the mountains of Germany. And I think what I'm seeing a peak of right down over the back there is I'm seeing my first view of the uh, Swiss Alps, which I will be at very very soon. I think I'm only about. 30 kilometers out from them at the moment, so hmm, just gotta know when to when to get through this. Maybe I can fill up my water bottle from here. Nah, I won't try. I don't know if this is exactly the main entrance, but here is Basel, which is my first city, my first town in Switzerland. So here I am, shimmying over the border to Switzerland. I'm in Switzerland. I don't actually know if I'm gonna spend much time here today. I think I'm just here to try and find. Wi-Fi and then after that I can figure out where Eurovelo 15 is that goes into Germany or at least I can say that I've you know I've been to Switzerland now But do I count this is it like, is it like a stopover in an airport kind of I think everyone's meant to be riding on the roads as well And I'm not because I'm really unsure about what I'm doing and I'm on camera and I'm gonna put this away and figure out where to go So this is Basel Basel? Basel Basel or any of the other weird pronunciations that a, a European country, European town, sorry, sh could have. Uh, Eurovelo 5, oh sorry, Eurovelo 6 intersects with Eurovelo 15, which is the one I was on before, and Eurovelo 6 apparently runs around the front of the river here and then keeps on going down. But it seems like a pretty, it's a, it's a pretty, pretty place, I think is the, is the takeaway. Uh, at least if it's not pretty, it's very well developed. But I haven't really seen anything here that I would consider particularly nice. It just kind of seems like another city so far. I can't really expect to just come into Switzerland and get the whole Switzerland clean green straight away. I suppose you'd have to go a little bit deeper for that. I mean, yeah, it's alright so far. I mean, the things that it does have going for it, the flag is a big plus. Ah, uh, get it? So I'm kind of hoping that I'll find my way down to Eurovelo 5, but I'm guessing that there's not going to be any, like, signs straight up as soon as I get there so um, I'll just kind of have to just have to kind of feel it out as I as I go 